Hello friends, uh, welcome to Data Pandit. Okay, uh, so today we are going to see one more important concept in Ab Initio, which is related to conduct IT. And also it is related to uh, continuous uh, graph. Okay, and it is also related to the batch graph. So the thing is how the batch graph can communicate to, you know, plan. Or in other words, how, you know, graph can call the plan. So we'll create one graph, which is going to call the plan. Or you can say, my plan would be subscribing to the content received from the graph. Okay. So first we are going to see uh, the technicalities uh, with respect to the subscribe looping plan, how it can subscribe to the content received from the another graph. Or also we will see that how a plan a graph can publish the data to the plan. Okay, so this is a pub sub mechanism. Mechanism basically, publisher graph is a publisher, and plan is a subscriber to the data. Okay, and uh, in some time after discussing the technicalities and how we configure uh, technically these these uh, objects and you know using our ab initio library we are going to see the different use cases it can solve with respect to continuous graph with how to read the data from the queue uh, how it can you know uh, this pub sub mechanism can you apply to different use cases right so currently uh, keep in mind that we are going to process let's say we have 10 p sets which are built uh, to load the data into the target database for the 10 tables, 10 different you know, P sets on the some generic graph, let's say we are. And uh, we have a graph which one by one, you know, it is going to be uh, publishing those plans, those uh, actual, uh, you know, P set to the subscriber loop. And then the looping plan will execute those P sets one by one. So how these are, uh, uh, how these, uh, you know, entire setup we are going to create. So one by one step wise, there are four to five steps and it is very, very easy. Okay. So first we are going to create a plan. Let's say we are naming it as an AI plan, my subscriber dot plan. We are going to create a newly, uh, new plan, which is this one. This is going to be our first, uh, you know, step. Second step is add sub plan in this one. So what we are going to do is we will drag the sub plan from the from the library and we'll put into the this plan. Okay. Third step is uh, you know third step is create a new graph called AI MP plan plan to subscribe dot MP. Okay. So we are going to create a new graph. This is going to be you know publishing the data to the plan. So this graph will publish that, okay. And what would be the, you know, structure of this, uh, this graph is like create data. Then there will be a reformat component, simple uh, three uh, step, you know, th only three component, create data component, reformat component and publish to plan. There is an, there is an, uh, there is an component called publish to plan in the library space, uh, you know, supplied by uh, Ab Initio. Graph, uh, component library it is not an a plan component library it's a graph component library okay so what we are going to do in the create data is you know we are going let's say we are running for 10 p sets so we are uh, you know in the transform function of the create data component is create function we are defined going to define so if it is index 0 then first p set is going to be called likewise if index is 0 to n n minus 1 right so those 10 pieces one by one it going to be configured okay so 10 times it's going to be executing right because it's a count as a 10 then it is going to supply the data to the reformat one by one p set so the 
transform of reformat is going to be simple or dot star is equal to in dot star okay and then third is publish to plan so whenever we receive the you know any particular piece set from the reformat from the you know grade data uh, through reformat the publish to plan there is a component we are going to drag from the component library and the only one property we are going to change for this uh, uh, you know publish to plan uh, component is subscribe loop there is a property okay we what we are going to assign is backsl uh, oblique my sub plan so this label this is the label of my uh, label of my plan actually the sub plan i said right so if you look at the diagram so this is my this is my entire this this part this side this is my you know plan basically okay this entire okay in that i'm uh, i have pulled the my sub plan right i have labeled it as a my sub plan therefore uh, therefore i uh, you know in subscribe loop i should say my sub plan okay so this is the label and this string needs to be assigned to Uh, within the publish to plan component of the graph right and why the upper uh, round uh, arrows are due to looping plan so i made it as a looping plan and i loop type is a subscribe loop okay this i need to configure so okay in that this is my graph task okay so within the same uh, let's see what are the different step further steps add graph task in the plan so i said right we have created the graph we have created the you know plan and what uh, else it is asking is we need to uh, add one graph task in the same plan in the same plan i need to add a graph task so within graph task i am going to call that graph which graph this publish graph this graph uh, this one so it is saying that in the within the graph task i need to configure in the properties aimp plan to subscribe dot mt okay this one i need to configure simple thing so i have added my sub plan i have added graph task and i configured my uh, created graph within that now come to the my sub plan so let's say go to the step number uh, step number yeah add graph task and call this one okay subscribe add step number Five. Open the properties of sub plan of point number two. Properties loop. Loop type subscribe loop. I have already done right. Subscribe loop. This is a looping plan. So loop type is subscribe loop. You need to give in the properties section of the my sub plan. You can right click on, then go to the property, and there is you will see the loop type property, and you assign the subscribe loop. Okay. Now add graph task in the sub plan. Open the properties graph. Okay. so if you double click on this some my sub plan then there will be wizard i mean the space will be opening for this my sub plan so in this my sub my sub plan we are going to add one one more graph task right we will add the one graph task and what we are going to assign in the graph task properties is ai p set ab plan loop current value so what ab plan loop current value is going to give is so it's iteratively it is going to be running right so for first iteration a dot p set is going to give this one so as soon as this graph will publish the data to the sub sub plan right so it will keep on listening to the this graph and this publisher graph and whenever it receives the data from the this graph it is going to pass to the this graph task right and this graph task iteratively one by one it is going to uh, going to call those you know actual p sets right the actual piece of work is going to happen under this graph task right so ai p set ab plan loop current value is the actual graph which is going to be executed one by one it is going to be listening to this published graph and passing the data to the actual you know graph task so this is whole soul you know mechanism of this uh, publisher sub subscriber publisher thing okay so my graph is going to publish the data to the plan and plan is going to execute one by one and uh, up until and unless every you know uh, data from the publisher graph is going to be processed it is going to be iteratively running right so also 
we can uh, iterate it con sequential or concurrent so there are properties in the looping plan which we have already discussed in our uh, plan or conductivity videos or also in, i think uh, in other videos i have referred this uh, property while you know processing multiple files or you know those kind of things so what um, now let's see what different use cases could be you know solved by this so one is multi multiple simultaneous processing right one thing can be done or <clears throat> let's talk about how it is connected with the continuous graph so um, normally so this is the batch graph basically so we have uh, ready made prepared the you know number of presets right in this uh, this uh, create data component but if you do not know uh beforehand right everything so what you can do is there will be a sub, uh, you know there is a pub, let's say continuous graph is generating the data based on some other external event right and that continuous graph can publish the data for this subscriber you know uh, subscriber loop i mean so this uh, the first first part could be you know this part could be a continuous graph and this continuous graph is going to publish the data and that then it is going to put in the data to the publish to publish to plan component and that publish to plan component is you know uh, publishing the data for the plan sub plan right my sub plan this can be configured right so we can have a configuration like subscribe then reformat and publish to plan subscribe is a part of continuous graph let's say and otherwise subscribe reformat and publishing the data into the queue let's say and the queue uh, the publish to plan component is going to read the data from the queue and then placing the data to the sub plan so these kind of things can be done you know it can be connected to the continuous graph also so uh, uh, right so it can be used you know in both places like uh, in batch graph and as well as in the continuous graph so with that thank you so much please uh, subscribe my channel and we are going to see uh, a few more uh, or you know other uh, interesting uh, use cases uh, in times to come okay thank you so much